some incredible battles last night, ladies and gentlemen. Um, well, let me start with uh, Drykus. Drykus versus Robert Whitaker. I didn't think Drykus was going to be able to do that to Robert Whitaker. I thought Robert Whitaker was going to be able to piece him up, just be more athletic than him and piece him up. But Drykus is just, he's this jacked athlete. He's just a beast of an athlete who can push the pace. And I think he's going to even get more dangerous now that his nose got fixed and he gets some air to his body. Um, Drykus versus Izzy, their little altercation at the end. Everyone's getting all mad at Izzy for how he was acting. People were like, you need to act like a champion. It's like, dude. Most of the best fighters on the planet, for you to get in some shorts and go to an arena full of 20,000 screaming fans and fight another professional fighter, you got to be a little bit fucking crazy in your mind. So people, and, and I don't want to see, we don't want to see everyone just so respectful. Okay, respectful. We're going to fight. And if you win, great. If I win, respect you. No, Izzy's like, fuck that. Fuck you, motherfucker. Now it's going to make the whole the countdown exciting. It's going to make the embeddeds exciting. It's going to make the press conferences exciting. A real actual rivalry that we're pumped to watch. Instead of respectful all the time. Uh, Volkanovski, Yair. I mean, Volk, Volk is on another level. He just really is. I think Ilya Topria can probably give him a good fight because he's, he's just so technically sound with his boxing. But I still think Volk. It's almost like he kept his power from when he was 300 pounds. His bones are just dense, and he has like that fast, quick twitch muscle, and he can go for five rounds. He really is a freak. Top to bottom, I, th I think he's the pound-for-pound pound king for sure. So after he beats Ilya, if he beats Ilya, um, then I want to see him fight Islam again. And I, I, I'm curious to what Islam really thinks about that fight. Like, does he want that again, or he's like, fuck no, that, that little dude's a beast. Uh, the 125ers, they threw down. They threw down full speed for five rounds. And that's what we that's what we want to see at, with those 125 divisions. They don't have a lot of knockout power. They're not going to one-punch people a lot of the times. But they came out and sprinted. They didn't make it a normal tit-for-tat fight. They weren't scared of gassing. They just fought full sprint for five rounds. Both those guys are animals. I hope they book that fight again because I'll definitely watch that one. And Bo Nickel. That kid's a freak, dude. That kid is a freak athlete. He's explosive, and he's knocking people out now. Now he's knocking people out. He's throwing to hurt people. That's going to be a dangerous, dangerous dude. But we've also seen that that not go well for a lot of wrestlers in the past. There's there's so many I can name. One that sticks out even is maybe Johnny Hendricks, national champion, D1, very good wrestler, could wrestle a lot of people up, but he started knocking people out, and he started falling in love with it. And it kind of didn't do well after that. But that happens a lot because wrestlers connect with someone's chin and sees them fall. And they're like, wow, that was way easier than having to wrestle and grind on this guy for however long. So I want to see him shoot Bo Nickel to the top. I want to see him fight a top five guy. But I'm sure every fan wants to see that. UFC knows what they're doing, so they're going to build him the right way. I'm curious who they give him next. Maybe they'll give him someone like a... Like a Derek Brunson, would love to see that. Or even a Brad Tavares. Give him a little step up. At first, I was like, maybe give him Sean Strickland. I, I still would love to see the fight. And I don't know how that would play, play out. I would love to see that fight. Winner Sean Strickland and Bo Nickel fight the winner Izzy Drykus. I don't know. I'm just getting crazy now. But, uh, yeah, we had a good weekend. There was a lot of celebs out. Got to be around Trump. Um it was a good weekend. Good energy in that arena, too, to get sh sugar fired up for these last six weeks of training camp. And, uh, yeah, not as sharp as I usually am because we stayed up fucking late last night. A little too late. Okay? So, guys, hit that subscribe button. It helps me out. We're almost to 50K. Hope you enjoyed the video. And uh, comment your thoughts. Who do you guys think should be next for Volk? And then for Bo Nickel? Have a good Sunday, have a good Monday, have a good Tuesday, have a good Wednesday. Love you all. Bye-bye.